Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just a Draw. I'm playing East 8 like Ramosa of Dana. Last episode we cleared off <laughs> the remainder of the slam the jungle and I think we also did something else, but I don't really remember perfectly what I was doing. But in this episode we're gonna go and follow the man who was running over here. The Odd Rock Coast. The coastline. Let to find that guy was kept, uh, who kept running from us. Huh? I don't see him anywhere. That's not possible. You will find him. And you will kill him. <laughs> no. You will find him, though. He's over there somewhere. And I kinda wanna go over here. Hmm. Let me go and get the prismatic thing over there. I'm gonna leave the rest of the fish because I don't know if I need to catch fish over here. Come on. God damn it. I think when it says darn it, he misses. Yep, that's the one. So when he says darn it, he's gonna miss his uh, rod. That's, so that's the reason why people aren't happy when they throw their line. <laughs> Yes, feels like a big chest. There's another prismatic jewel in it. There we go. Oh yeah, I also got some... I got something that I totally forgot to use. Tempest Elixir, which just gives you a, another level up. I'm gonna hold on to these ones until I'm later on in the game. Because... Later on it's gonna be a lot more difficult for me to level up. And then Tempest Elixir are gonna be amazing. At least I think so. That's the entire area. Map that. <laughs> you sense a presence behind the rock. Call out to it. Um, I'm already here, buddy. Don't come any closer. I'm begging you, please. Huh? Someone's hiding back there. You sound terrified. Please don't be afraid. I'm here to rescue you. Really? Yes, just calm down and come out. Uh, hello. This guy looks pretty fragile. Hmm. Why the heck were you running away from us? Um, well, I was on a ship that ended up sinking. So you're a passenger aboard the Lombardia? Uh, yes. My name is Licht. What is it with anime and calling people Licht? Which is basically the Dutch word for light. Somehow <laughs> I barely managed to make it to the shore of this island. But a beast chased me into the jungle, and then I saw this scary looking man. I apologize. It's just huh, someone was chasing me, and um Scary looking man. The Roman military uh, military officer we saw at the entrance of to the forest. He seemed to be actively looking for someone. Did you mention to make him uh did you do something to make him want to chase you? Uh, no, I swear, I've no clue why is that why he was after me. I just We were also passengers on Lombardia, just like you. We can take you to the place where the other castaways uh, have gathered. R really? That'd be nice. I didn't know what would happen to me any uh, to me here. All right, Mr. Kristen, let's call it a little paro and. There you, Sparrow. Perfect timing. Are you calling us back for a raid? Adult, emergency, emergency. Return to village. Return to village. Huh? An emergency. Has something happened to the village? Return to village, Barbara is calling you. P sounds pretty serious. Maybe we should go back to the village and see what's up, Adel. Little Power arrived with sudden news. What had happened at Castaway Village? An uneasy feeling settled on Adel and the others as they headed back to Castaway Village. And Lictus also joined Castaway Village. Huff, huff, huff. <laughs> Are we there yet? God, I guess we're going too fast. You feeling okay? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, Hamel didn't follow us. I haven't seen him for a while. You think he might have gotten lost? Oh well, I'm sure I'll catch up. My word. Hamel has left the party. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. What seems to be the matter, Doki? Oh, well, I need you guys to stay calm. Captain Barbaros was attacked. He's hurt pretty bad. Oh, is it a beast? 
beast. Actually, we think a person did this. Person? Are you sure? Oh, why would anyone do such a thing? Dr. Kiergaard says his injuries aren't life-threatening. Come with me to the lodge. I'll give you the details there. Oh, Adolf. Something terrible has happened. How's the captain doing, Doc? He has lost a lot of blood. Fortunately, his wounds are healing well, thanks to the medicinal herbs. He has been resting all day, but he just uh, woke up not too long ago. I think it's well enough to see visitors now. I see, that's good news at least. Still, I recommend that you take it easy for, for a little while longer. I think I've done all I can, but should the need uh, arise, please don't hesitate to call for me. Thanks, Doc. Please excuse me. I'm so relieved that Dr. Kiergaard is with us. Seriously. Thank you for coming, Adol. Sorry I'm not decent at the moment. Yes, I seem to be on the mend. I understand that everyone has been quite worried about me. Uh, may we ask what happened to you? Yes, of course. I was out patrolling the village, as I do every day. While walking near the shore, I heard a voice call out to me. The moment I turned to face it, something immediately sliced into my chest and limbs. I immediately? Did you recognize the voice? The voice that called out to me belonged to a man, that I'm certain of. But whoever he is, he was wearing a robe, and I only saw him from behind. Kemeny was taken by surprise. I see. I found the captain lying on the ground, and uh, we all brought him here. And that's when we noticed this note on one of, ta uh, one of the tables. Huh? Uh, notes? I will rip you asunder, every last one of you, Nemo. Gah! This is a death threat. No one in the village is safe. Yeah, this is bad news. The other casters have already caught wind of this note. It's only a matter of time before everyone starts panicking. Why would the person who wrote this say it as Nemo? I'm not sure. Nemo is a Roman word. It means nameless. Hello, white boy. Sorry to keep you waiting, Captain. You're that Roman officer. You're on. The Roman capital is being terrorized. Uh, uh, terrorized? Wow. Terrorized as of late by a perp known as the Nameless Ripper. His victims fit no known pattern. He kills men and women, always with a bladed instrument. And at the scene of his crime, he always leaves a note that he signs as Nemo. Hmm, I've heard the rumors. The serial killer who has the Roman Empire, uh, Roman capital trembling with fear. Do you think that killer is the person who attacked the captain? Why would a serial killer be on this island in the first place? Hmm. I've been pursuing the Nameless Ripper for a while now. I've got a, I got a tip from my partner that a man who fit the name, Nameless's profile was preparing to board a ship. No. Yes, the Lombardia. As soon as I got that tip, I wasted no time securing passage on the Lombardia. I was supposed to rendezvous with my partner so we could take down Nameless together, but... Well, you all know what happened. You're saying we were on the same ship as, a, as some psycho serial killer? Yeah, that's right. And Nameless is still alive, somewhere on this island. Hell, he could already be in Castaway Village. No. What's this Nameless guy look like? Unfortunately, I don't have a physical description of Nameless. I was supposed to find out from my partner after he boarded the ship, but... Gah! What was that? Tch, came from outside. No, sir, really? Tell me it's not true. Jesus. Where did that sound come from? I'll take the beach, you take the hill. Yes, game, show me the entire way that he's running. My leg! My leg! I get like SpongeBob vibes from that line. <laughs> My leg! Ripper's still lurking nearby. We must tend to Sir Carlin's wound before we do anything else. 
Come with me, Mr. Kristen. We'll get him some help. Despite his injuries, Captain Barbara has got the castaways uh, together and explained the situation. There, Sir Carlin uh, admitted that he could not identify Nameless, as he too only saw him from behind. With so few uh, cues, well, no, clues, the castaways began to grow restless and worry. Until finally. I can't stand this any longer. If this murderer is among us, I demand that he reveal himself. The newest member of our fold certainly seems suspicious to me. Are you the murderer boy? He, uh, no, I, I would never do such a thing. You will pay dearly for what you've done to my leg. Ow, 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 ow. Please try to remain still, Sir Gordon. There's no reason to suspect Licht. He's not a person of interest. What? That's right, Licht was with us when the captain was attacked. Th thank you. Huh. Still, we can't just stand around and do nothing. Well, I refuse to spend another second trapped on this island with a murderer. Wait. Didn't the muscle had built a small boat or some such? Why not use it to sail off to the coast and hail passage uh, a passing ship for help? Hmm, I don't know if that's a good idea. What do you think, Captain? It's not the worst idea out there. It's gotta be a worth a try, right? The Isle of Saron is so feared by sailors that no ship would dare to venture into its coastal waters. You would need to sail far out, in, out into the open sea to even have a chance at hailing a passing vessel. But to sail that far uh, out into the ocean in such a tiny boat? It's foolhardy is what it is. Oh... Do you have a better idea then? We'll never escape this island if you keep rejecting every propose a proposed solution. Besides, Captain, it's your fault that the Lombardia sank in the first place. If anyone should venture out to sea to get to help, it should be you. I beg your pardon? Now what's happening? More beasts? Well, whatever it was, it sounded very close. Do you think it might be... I'm sure of it. You think it might be the monster that attacks Sahad? Let's go. go. Yes. Uh, fine. Oh, it's a raid. Ooh. Interesting maneuver game. Can I help you? By I making, by just giving me all the medicine you have. Okay, um, I, well, I guess I'm gonna go and, wait, let me go and see if, uh, there's some driftage. No. <laughs> no, there's not. Let me go and do this. No quests? Nope, okay. Alright, Dogi. Um, I'm already done with all those things, right? I just want to make, wait, ah, I don't have the primitive meat. Okay. Right, Begin the raid. Am I good to go? Well, I recommend at level 29. I'm not level 29. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, I, I don't have a choice. <laughs> Look, that's the same beast that attacked me. Is it only him? But then in raid format? We can't let it beat the barricade. Let's hold it. Uh, uh, hold it off here, Mr. Kristen. All right, bring it on. Yeah, bring it on. Oh, it's okay. It looks like there are going to be other enemies. So it is going to be a box standard raid in a certain way. Only with big dinosaur dude as the finisher, probably. What's happening? Leave it to me. Switch. Okay. Didn't take any damage. Yet. Alright, let's start fixing it. Dogie's one advantage. Dogie's one advantage. Nice hit. <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh wow. Obviously. Probably because of his manure ball. How impressive. Yes. Don't get cocky. 
We gotta push him back. Let's. Oh boy. Let me go into this. Because these enemies are nasty and I want them to die. There we go. What is happening over here? Wow, wrecked. Oh, that was a nice one. And Doge coming in with the... With the big boy. Kill the wolves. Okay, cool. Didn't take any damage. Awesome. Flash move, flash guard, extra skill, eradication, and no damage. That's what I like to call a good score. <laughs> nice. Still nervous though. A little bit. I'm just like maybe not even nervous. I'm just like like nervous in a good way. I'm I'm feeling the heat. There we have a B attack in this thing. Oh, whoopsie. There you go. And now we have these buggers. Or at least one of these buggers. Okay, yep, two of them. And Doge coming in with a big attack. I'm gonna back off. There we go. Didn't take any damage. And got eradication. Nice! -y. I'd like to get my extra skill for the boss, but I'm don't, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Final wave. Defeat the beast leader. Indeed we will. Or we will try in any case. Supreme dish. Let me also go and... Uh, see about killing the wolves. I like just killing everything in general while we're doing this. I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh boy. I do not want to get hit by that. And your ball's coming in. He's also almost stunned. Oh boy, get the fuck out of here. Nice, got him. Right. Jesus. Didn't take damage. And I eradicated all of them. Nice. -y. Am I gonna get an S rank? I feel I personally feel like I've done a really good job with this one. Also did it under the clear time, so save base, save trap, time bonus, kill rate, and keep HP bonus. I was just about to say, like, I cannot, I can literally cannot do it any better than this. Awesome. Let me go and skip the rest there. It is indeed perfect. Yeah, a lot of pretty rare stuff. A power wrist, a strange elixir, red meat, and a white meat. Wow. That was amazing. 
He's putting us through the ringer. That's right. <laughs> what is that? What are they doing? Doggy coming in. And off it goes. Did we just get saved? Seems we have. Huh. First the name is Super, now this? What is wrong with this wretched island? What was that creature? I've heard about that creature before. I didn't think it would appear uh, so near, us to, uh, near to us. Of all the beasts Adam and I have faced, we've never seen anything quite like that before. Just bring with all that ferocious raw power. I don't know how else to describe it. What the hell is that thing? What? Very well. Huh? You know something, Luxa? I think that creature is almost certainly a primordial. A primordial? Didn't we find some note at the watchtower that mentioned them? Long ago, before the human race came into existence, enormous creatures of unimaginable power ruled the Earth before going extinct. These creatures are known as primordials. Though diverse in form, their defining traits are their reptilian appearance and ferocious disposition. You baited our breaths for this nonsense? What makes you qualified to judge that creature as a product of some bygone era? I've heard of these primordials, too. According to reports, fossils of these giant creatures have been found deep underground. Certain academic circles within the Roman Empire have recently begun more research into the matter. Hmm. Are you some kind of expert on these primordial beasts, Laxia? Y yes. Um, I won't bore you with the details, but I'm well versed on the subject. <laughs> Finally, some good news! Huh? Since you know about them, you can help us figure out how to fight them off. Ain't that right, little lady? I don't know how much help I can truly provide at this time. The less we know about these creatures, the more we will fear them with each passing day. It would do wonders for morale to know we have someone who understands what we're up against. I hardly think I'm... Don't be so modest. Right, Adol? <laughs> Why are you looking at me so... Damn. First a serial killer, now primordials? That's too, too many things we gotta worry about right now. Don't come off it, will you? I'm too terrified by the nameless Ripper hiding in our midst to pay any mind to these so-called primordials. I wish I was anywhere else but this accursed island. I grow sicker and wearier each day I'm forced to breathe the same air as you riffraff. What a pain in the ass that guy is. Hmm, the sun is beginning to set. Add all us together with some volunteers and take turns keeping watch tonight. Please try to get some rest, everyone. Try not to wander off by yourselves. Make sure you're always with somebody. Or someone. Eh, the same. Oh, 
solved a crime, actually. Thank you, Mr. Kristen. That was my first time climbing a rope ladder. I didn't think it would sway so much. What's wrong? Well, today was rather eventful. And I'm not as lackadaisical as Sahad, so unlike him, I'm having a difficult time falling asleep tonight. And I suppose I couldn't think of anything else to do at this hour, so... Here. Is that... Yes, and you better thank me for it. I've never prepared this dish before, so I can't vouch for its flavor. <laughs> really? I thought the end result would look more appetizing than this. Hmm. By the way, have you spoken to Hummel at all? I asked him where he went, but he said it would be unprofessional of him to tell me. What's his aim? Um, well... <sighs> this might take a while, but I suppose you're not going anywhere for the time being. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Don't have to read. <laughs> he was an archaeological scholar, you see, who specialized in the study of primordials. As a child, I often visited his laboratory. And he would have me accompany him on his excavations. I loved and respected my father. He was my whole world. But the year I turned 16, my father grew so obsessed with his research that he abandoned his house and lands. In response, his people began rioting throughout the countryside. The rioting finally ceased when my brother assumed control of House Roswell. The loyalty our house once commanded had already been lost. Soon after, the other noble houses successfully unseated my brother, which drove my mother ill. And just three months ago, House Roswell was forced to relinquish its titles and lands. And now, my family's future has never been more uncertain. Father taught me many things, but after everything that happened, I began to grow dissatisfied with all that had come to define me, and I felt as if I had no place where I truly belonged. So I ran away from home. I hesitated earlier today because... because I never imagined my knowledge could actually prove useful, though this is hardly the time to feel this way. I think I finally found somewhere I belong. Thank you. But I know I cannot settle for just that. I think I'm the one who understands my father best. So I've made up my mind. If I manage to escape this place, I will search for my father. Only then will I find where I truly belong. a noble. He was a rather carefree and welcoming man. Um, that is to say, as an adventurer, you remind me of him. You even resemble him somewhat, which may be why my behavior has been so, um, unseemly. So, I'm sorry. Please, you don't need to be so kind. I was forcing you to bear the brunt of my resentment toward my father. Now then, I'm going back to rest. Thank you. 
Thank you for letting me confide in you. Um, good night, Adol. Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. <laughs> quiche, recipe. <laughs> quiche recipe, that's pretty really nice. More food, which I won't use. Please make up, Adol. No, oh, you're finally awake. I'm sorry to disturb you while you were sleeping. Um, Doggy asked me to come get you. Doggy? He's waiting at the village center. It seems the recording has vanished. <laughs> anyway, we should meet with the others. Adoha. <laughs> That's Banjo because your music starts playing. Whoopsie. Bottoms into the mic. Good morning, Adol. Thank you for keeping watch last night. Have you found Sir Colin? Not yet, unfortunately. However, Euron mentioned that he saw Sir Colin earlier in the morning. He hasn't grown. Uh, he, has, he hasn't grown. No, he hasn't been gone for very long. Everyone in the village is helping uh, look for him right now. That's the main reason I, I asked you. <clears throat> I asked for you. I need you to help us find him. Hmm. You think he might have up and left the village? It's possible. We can't send you out looking for him without any leads. Search the village for any clues that could lead to his whereabouts. Plus, we still gotta worry about the nameless. About or about neighbors, doesn't matter. Everyone, everyone's still on edge uh, after everything that happened yesterday. Please be extra careful. I will. But we are gonna go and read the journal stuff which I forgot for the last couple of episodes. And then we're gonna go in and end of the episode. Alright, a carnivorous fish with cute scarlet scales that jumps out of the water to catch its prey. They are, so they are spotted often as delicious, dense meat. Um, what else have I. Do I have I any new people right now? Well, I kind of do. Um, let's see. Uh, where is he? Oh, over here. Licked. A timid young man was overwhelmed by his current situation and worries about those around him. Precise RX, level 1. Cure status and temporary status, no. That's pretty cool. Alright, monsters. Now, I have run into a couple of monsters. <laughs> let's see. The Bigalus. Leeches are often found in swamps and bogs. They attach themselves to living creatures to drink their blood. Only attaching themselves once they had their fill. Shot Sola. <laughs> Carnivorous plant that grow in marshlands. Uh, they secrete a par paralytic mucus which immobilizes any living creatures that come into contact with it. The Logari. A strange, murderous fish that lurk in the mud. They have poor eyesight so they rely on their senses of smell, emerging from the swamp to attack when, when they sense prey. Salamandine. Enormous amphibian amphibians that uh, populate swamps. They have uh, voracious appetites and can even swallow a human whole with their oversized jaw. <laughs> well, that's pretty dang scary. Uh, then we have this thing over here, the Magamandra. An old living tree that has existed since time immemorial. It scatters its explosive nuts as it flails its branches, its branches in hopes of grabbing living prey for sustenance. And then last but A giant swamp-dwelling jungle beast. It tackles those who intrude upon its territory, knocking them into the muck of the swamp where they sink like stones. And this guy again. The mysterious ferocious beast that appeared earlier attacked a castle village this time, no doubt to feed on people behind the village barricade. Okay, another thing I want to go and take a look at is... The powers I got. 8 to defense, plus 10 strength, plus 5 critical. 8 to defense? Yeah, no. <laughs> or is that worth it? You decide. Strength elixir. Um, let me go and give that to... Loxia. Alright people, let's commit. Hope you enjoyed this episode of yourselves playing East 8 like Ramos of Dana. And next episode we're gonna go and do our invest. Well, we're gonna look after, like we're gonna look for Sir Carlin. There we go. Goodbye. <laughs>